Hello everyone. On the last video, I put together this hardscape using Dragonstone and Foam. Now it's time to plant it, so to start I'll put some substrate. I will use some fluval stratum to fill out the gaps where I want plants. I am also using a bit of gravel and sand, this will make it a bit easier to plant. I want to have a full carpet of plants, so a bit of aquasol showing is not a problem. The first plant will be Marcellea hirsuta. This is Creparba. Also using some Micranton and Monte Carlo, this will fill out the smaller gaps. Here on top I will use some pearl wheat. This one is Luigia Super Red Mini. Also adding a bit of mini hair grass. This mid part will have some rotola rotundifolia. This one is Bucephalandra Caterinae Mini. This one is Bucephalandra Mini Coin. And some Anubias Nana Petite.
it's been about two weeks i added a bit of moss and some plants have started to grow out also worth noting is that i have added co2 on this tank i am cutting down the marcellaria hirsuta now that it's a bit more subtle this will help it grow faster I am also trimming down the Rotala rotundifolia. Another two weeks have passed and I feel more comfortable about adding some shrimp to the escape. Uh, these are some green jade neocaridina. I also get to trim some plants, I'm cutting down any Marcellia runners on the areas I do not want it. After the plant trimming, I realized that I wanted that side to be a little bit taller, so I'm adding a little bit more substrate. I am also adding a bit more substrate on the top, as the first time I didn't put enough. Another week has passed and I'm moving some of my CBDs to this tank.
I'm also adding a bit more of the mini hair grass in the midsection as I would like it to fill out a little bit more. The tech is doing great. The only issue I have is a bit of Cletaphora algae, which is a bit of a pain to clean up. I am very happy with the results. The plants are doing great. Uh, I might just make some small changes, especially on the right side, as I think the plants are covering a little too much of the hardscape. I showed my friend Tommy, uh, Silver Creek Wildlife, what I was working on. And when he saw the hardscape the first time, what he said is that it looked a lot like the dragon's face. And once he said that, that's basically all I could see too. He was generous enough to send me some of his awesome backgrounds. And one of them was this really cool dragon's eye. Thank you so much, Tommy. If anyone wants to purchase a custom background, reach out to Silver Creek Wildlife. Um, I will share the other backgrounds he made for me real soon. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this tank. I hope I can share more stuff with you in the future. Later.